Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. It's Fahad from modepovadi.com and today I am back with another amazing custom room for our Redmi Note 11 and this time it is it is the ROS the apps build for our Redmi Note 11 and as you can see here it is based on the Android 13 and it is the unofficial build and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 November 2022. So in this video I will be showing you its full review and I will also let you know how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before starting the video, make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates. So first of all, let's talk about its stability. The ROM is pretty much stable. It's been uh, maybe three or four days I have been using this ROM as my daily driver and I have faced no issue and everything is just working fine. As you can see here, the animations are also played very well. And in the camera, here we have uh, Google camera pre-installed right here. As you can see here, here we have uh, all options like for trip, photo mode. You can also switch to the uh, ultra wide or macro mode lenses right from here. So this is a plus point for this camera application. You can take the portrait photos. You can also record the videos and you can also use the translate. All camera sensors are working like uh, wide mode, ultra wide and macro mode. So no need to be worried about anything. So if we talk about the applications, we don't get a lot of janky applications pre-installed right in this ROM. As you can see here, only few and needed applications are pre-installed. And now in the home screen, here we have wallpaper and style. From here, you can change the wallpaper. By default, we get this ROS wallpaper. But don't worry, you can download the Google wallpapers application from the Play Store. And you can get a bunch of wallpapers on your device. Then you have the wallpaper colors basic colors you can enable or disable the dark theme you can also enable the themed icons you can change the app grid right from here the themed icons will look like this and from the left you can access the google feed which is also now the google now and then we have widgets from here you can add a lot of widgets to customize your home screen as i did and then we have the option of home setting here we have launcher launcher with a lot of customizations so after it, uh, now let's go into the settings. And if we talk about the performance, the performance is uh, really impressive of this ROM. As you can see here, everything is just working pretty much cool and smoothly. No need to worry about the performance. Going to the settings, first of all, let's talk about the quick settings. From the quick settings, as you can see here, quick settings looks like uh, this, pretty much typical. And from here, you can check the data usage. And at the bottom here we are setting and uh, power options right here and in the settings here we have connectivity options apps notifications battery the battery backup of this rom is also pretty much impressive here we have the battery sa uh, usage battery saver we don't have the advanced uh, uh, extreme battery saver and you can also set the reduce refresh rate and it will uh, use the 60 hertz screen refresh rate to save power when battery saver is on then we have battery manager and you can also change the battery icon style and you can also enable or disable the battery percentage and here we have the battery styles for the QS panel. Then we have storage, sound and vibrations and from the sound and vibration you can also access the Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos is pre-installed in this ROM and uh, but we don't have any sound enhancing technology in this ROM. I don't know why. Then we have display. In the display, we have brightness level, adaptive brightness, lock screen settings, dark theme. You can adjust the uh, size of screen and text. You can also make the text bold and high contrast right from these options. Then we have the color profiles. You can also enable the night light, which is working fine. And then we have uh, auto rotation and you can also set up the maximum and minimum refresh rate to 90 hertz or 60 hertz. So this is a plus point for this ROM. It feels pretty much smooth because we have the option to use the 90 hertz refresh rate. So after it here we have a tap to wake, tap to sleep, status bar icons and here we have show data usage which is shown right here. In the extended quick settings then we have app refresh rate after it here we have wallpaper and style accessibility security in the security we have uh, all security options working like lock screens are working fingerprint is working but we don't have the option to use the face unlock in this room i don't know why 
Then we have privacy, location, safety, emergency, passwords and accounts, digital well-being and uh, Google system. In the system we have languages and input, gestures and in the gesture we have quickly open camera system, navigation bar, one handed mode which is working pretty much fine. You can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand. Then we have press and hold power button, swipe three finger for screenshot, it is working fine. Then you can also enable the advanced reboot options. Then we have playback control, volume wake and after it here we have date and time, backup, multiple user, reset option. We don't have a lot of customizations in this room. So in the about phone you can check the ROS version which is 13 and uh, its Android version is also 13. Security patch is also the latest 5 November 2022. So this room is pretty much stable and yes you can use it as your daily driver too. You can also do gaming on it. So if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 11 then the download link and installation instructions are in the uh, description box. Go and follow them and you will be able to install this latest ROS on your Redmi Note 11. So hope you guys like this video. If you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also press the bell icon for the future updates. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. And if you have any question or queries about this ROM, you can let us know in the comment section. And you can also join us and ask us any question on the Telegram. Telegram group and channel link is in the description. Make sure to check them out. Peace.